A spherical snowball is melting in such a way that its diameter is decreasing at a rate of 0.3 centimeters per minute. At what rate is the volume of the snowball decreasing when the diameter is nine centimeters? The first thing we need to remember is the volume formula for a sphere is V equals four-thirds pi r cubed, where r is the length of the radius. And notice in this problem, we're given information about the diameter of the sphere, not the radius. We can get the sketch of our sphere. This would be the length of the diameter. So notice how the radius is half the length of the diameter. So going back to the given information, if we're told the diameter is decreasing at a rate of 0.3 centimeters per minute, that means the change in d with respect to time, or d d d t, is equal to negative 0.3 centimeters per minute. And since the radius is half the diameter, this means dr dt, the change in the radius with respect to time, would be half this, or negative 0.15 centimeters per minute. We want to find at what rate the volume of the snowball is decreasing, so we actually want to find the change in v with respect to time, or dv dt. But we also want to find dv dt when the diameter is equal to nine centimeters. Well, if the diameter is equal to nine centimeters, then we need to recognize that the radius would be half this, or r is equal to 4.5 centimeters. So now to find dv dt, we're going to differentiate the volume formula with respect to t. Now because we're differentiating with respect to t, we'll have to perform implicit differentiation, which means we'll have an extra factor of dv dt or dr dt. So the derivative of v with respect to t would just be dv dt. And then on the right side, since four thirds and pi are constants, we're going to differentiate r cubed with respect to t. So we'll multiply by three, that's going to simplify with this denominator, and then subtract one from the exponent. So that's going to give us four pi r squared, but then we have an extra factor of dr dt, because we're differentiating with respect to t, and this is the chain rule. Now to find dv dt, we're going to substitute 4.5 for r, and at negative 0.15 for dr dt, which we'll do on the next slide. So we'd have dv dt equals four times pi times r squared, which is 4.5 squared, since remember the diameter was nine, times dr dt, which is negative 0.15 centimeters per minute. We have dv dt is approximately equal to negative 38.1704, and the units would be centimeters cubed per minute. Let's go ahead and write a sentence to explain what this means. When a snowball is melting and the radius is decreasing at a rate of 0.15 centimeters per minute, and the radius is 4.5 centimeters, then the volume is decreasing at a rate of approximately 38.1704 cubic centimeters per minute. Notice because we stated that the volume was decreasing, we did not include the negative sign when describing the amount of decrease, even though dv dt was negative. Okay, I hope you found this example helpful.